Hey everyone, this is Dr. Daphne at HealthFit, and today I wanted to talk about something that's been coming up pretty frequently with some of my patients who practice yoga. I love doing yoga as well, so it's a great form of exercise if it's done the right way. So a lot of my patients who come in will complain mainly of knee pain with the yoga poses and a lot of back pain. Um, and I kind of want to talk about what might be causing those issues if that's something that you're experiencing as well. Let's start with knee pain. So with knee pain, especially in warrior poses or in lunge poses are what I hear the most complaints about. And what causes it could be a couple of reasons that we're going to go over really quick. So starting with just a simple warrior one, so right here. A lot of the time I would see my patients with their knees collapsed inward like this or their foot lifting off like that. Okay, One, that puts a lot of stress on the inside part of your knee, which is why you may or may not be having that knee pain. And two, your ankle isn't stable so it doesn't give your knee a stable base to work on. So if you're in a warrior position or a lunge position like this with a crescent lunge or a warrior two, ideally you want your knee to be facing forward like that and you don't want that to fall in and you want your foot to be flat on the floor. If you find that your foot is lifting off like this to push your knee out, try to see if you can flatten that foot straight. That way you have a good base to work with. If you're finding that you're unable to do that, that could be for a number of reasons. It could be an, an ankle mobility issue, it could be something that's going on with your hip, and that's something you have to kind of find out and take a closer look at for us to be able to know exactly what's going on. So another issue that I see a lot with patients is that they have a lot of back pain, especially with positions that require a lot of back bending, so anything with bending backward, especially with poses like upward facing dog, and also things like back bends, like cactus pose this way, or anything to do with bending backward and opening up their chest. So the reason why this might be the case is because their core might not be engaged or some glutes might not be engaged or their glute muscles might not be engaged. So when I have them in this upward dog facing position, what I usually see is a lot of people sinking into their backs like this and kind of letting everything go. That's pretty painful for me <laughs> just because in this position with your core is not engaged, those joints in your back don't have any support. So what I tell patients to, to typically do is to bring their belly button to their spine to engage that core, to squeeze their glutes and to lift. And by doing this, they're giving their back a lot more support. And usually that, that kind of clears up their pain. And especially with back bends as well, when you're going anything with bending backward or chest opening, you wanna make sure that you're thinking long and then long getting from the top of your spine backward and not just bending back as far as you can. So that means also engaging your core, making sure you're thinking tall and then bending backwards like you're trying to tip over from the top of your head back. And ideally, you should feel this mainly opening up your chest and your upper back. But if you're still feeling pain, if you're still feeling some discomfort after those corrections, there might be something else going on that we need to look at, whether it be something with um, how your upper back is moving or how your core is, um, or how your core is firing when you're in these positions. If that's the case, then feel free to give us a call or leave a comment down below. Thanks guys, have a great day.